Hey guys, welcome to Critical Beauty Salon. I haven't made a video for a while now because I've been so busy with other things unrelated to pageantry. And yes, I am interested in other things besides pageants, and so should you. Anyway, I'm glad to be back to share new content with my followers. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, smash the subscribe button and the bell icon below to get instant notifications for the next video. Well, as most of you know, Paula Shugart, the president of the Miss Universe organization, announced during the National Costume Show of Miss Universe 2023 last November 16 at El Salvador that she would be leaving Miss Universe to focus on writing her book and to help with her husband's marijuana business. Of course, many pageant fans were shocked by the announcement because they all loved Paula and her departure would cause chaos and confusion with an MUO. Actually, ever since JKN Global became the new owner of MUO, which also ran Miss USA and Miss Teen USA until the new owner, Lila Rose, took over these two pageants, the public had already suspected that staff members and directors would eventually cut ties with MUO. As you know, Esther Swan, MEO Stalin director for many years left the company last June and before her back in February Carlos Capitillo the franchise director left and has been hired as a new franchise director for Miss Supranational. Some of us are wondering why this individual has left even though they haven't explicitly stated their reasons for leaving. I really believe that they were either fired or left voluntarily because they do not accept the changes made by the new owners. This, this explains, too, why some national directors also left MEO. The most recent director that broke ties with MEO is a Mispanum organization who left because the changes no longer conform to the principles of their own organization. And now, not only Miss Universe national directors are leaving, but also Miss USA state directors. The first one to announce her resignation was Melissa Proctor Pitchford, who run the Miss uh, and Teen State pageants for Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, and Kentucky. On her Facebook post dated December 4th, she wrote, It deeply saddens me that recent changes within the organization, controversial incidents that have taken place, and an unpredictable future no longer align with both my personal and professional standards, integrity, and ethics. My personal thank you to Paula Shugard, the former president of the Miss Universe organization, for recently sharing her empowering message. Like Paula, honesty, respect, integrity, and living by my word will continue to be my definition of leadership. A day later, on December 5th, Christina Mason, the executive state director of Alaska for Miss USA and Miss Teen USA, posted on her Facebook page a statement announcing her departure from the Miss USA organization. She seems to echo the statement made by Melissa, although Mason also cites dismissive and demeaning treatment of others as one of the reasons. Now here's an excerpt of Mason's post. Recent changes within the organization, controversial dealings, Lack of transparency and unclear communication do not align with my personal or professional core values. Dismissive and demeaning treatment of others does not align with my core values. Therefore, I have made the hard decision to resign my position as executive director and producer and step away from the USA slash universe organizations. A third state director, Britt Powell, who ran the Miss and Teen State Pageants for Arizona, posted on her Facebook page a video announcing her departure from the Miss USA organization. Her decision shocked many of her colleagues, including Paula Shugard. Powell also used to produce the pageants for Utah. Now, in her video, Powell, who was Miss Missouri USA 1995, echoes the same reasons that Christina Mason and Melissa Proctor Bitchford had stated in their respective posts. They all seem to denounce the poor business ethics and the lack of transparency within Miss Universe and Miss USA organizations. It is also probable that these directors have been replaced by new ones who have placed higher bids and that both Miss Universe and Miss USA organizations 
are aggressively looking for new partners who embrace the new changes. Business has changed, but I've learned along the way that I don't have to accept those changes. I'm still unwavering in upholding the principles I founded my business upon in 2005. These principles have led me to the very difficult decision to leave the Miss USA organization. It's sad to walk away from something you have loved and nurtured and built, but I'm so excited for my future. Y'all, God has placed so many incredible, fabulous, grand opportunities before me, and I've got a lot of work to do. I am sure more state directors will follow suit as time goes by. In the meantime, Lila Rose, the new owner of the Miss USA organization, sent an email to all state directors advising them not to rely on hearsays and negativity surrounding the changes and asking them to have faith in the new process. What do you guys think? Do you agree with the directors for leaving Miss Universe or Miss USA? Do you believe their stories? Comment below. Thank you for watching, guys. Until the next time. Bye.